In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to work with layers in GIMP, which is a fantastic tutorial if you're a beginner eager to dive into the exciting world of image editing. GIMP, short for GNU Image Manipulation Program, is a powerful open source alternative to Photoshop, and understanding layers is fundamental to unlocking its full potential. Let's get started. First, open the Layers panel if you haven't already done so. This panel is your primary workspace for managing all aspects related to layers in GIMP. You can access it by navigating to the Windows menu at the top, selecting Dockable Dialogues, and then choosing Layers. Alternatively, you can simply use the shortcut key combination Control plus L. Having this panel open makes it possible to easily manage all your layers, which are the building blocks of any image editing task. Next, familiarize yourself with the various buttons that you will use to work efficiently with your layers. At the bottom of the Layers panel, you'll find the New Layer, Duplicate Layer, and Delete Layer buttons. The New Layer button allows you to add a fresh, blank layer to your project. This is particularly useful when you want to add new elements without affecting the existing ones. Meanwhile, the Duplicate Layer button helps you create a copy of an existing layer. This is handy for testing edits without permanently altering the original layer. And, as you may have guessed, the Delete Layer button removes any selected layer you no longer need, keeping your workspace uncluttered. Moving on, let's discuss the order of your layers which can greatly impact the final appearance of your image. Layers function much like sheets of transparent film stacked over one another, and their arrangement in the panel determines how your image is composed visually. To change their order, simply click and drag a layer up or down within the panel. For example, if you have a text layer that you want to bring forward, just drag it above other layers. This intuitive drag and drop capability helps you control which elements are visible and allows combinations of various design elements. Finally, let's explore how to adjust opacity and blending modes, which are crucial for creating interesting visual effects. In the Layers panel, each layer has an associated opacity slider. By adjusting this, you can control how transparent or opaque that particular layer appears. Reducing the opacity can create a subtle overlay effect, adding depth and texture to your image. Similarly, the blending mode of each layer, which you can find as a drop-down menu above the layers list, dictates how layers interact with one another visually. Experimenting with different modes like multiply or overlay can endow your image with unique stylistic touches. And there you have it. By mastering these basic layer functionalities, you are well on your way to editing like a pro in GIMP. Layers are a cornerstone of digital art and photo editing, offering you the flexibility to craft your images with precision and creativity. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to experiment with these tools to discover new possibilities. Thanks for joining me today, and happy editing.